Hey, tonight I'm going to show you how to make green curry Thai chicken. For this recipe, you will need for four people, four pieces of chicken, about three tablespoons of green curry paste, but if you want it more spicy, you can take more and vice versa, an eggplant, some broccoli, squash, two cups of coconut milk, two cups of normal milk. Start out by cutting the chicken in pieces and cutting up the vegetables. Cut the squash into half, like this, and then cut little pieces so that you have bite-sized pieces. The eggplant needs to be peeled. Now you're going to cut the eggplant into little pieces also. How I do it is that I cut a little round like that, and then I cut it like you would with pizza, into little triangles. Cut the broccoli into bite-sized pieces, so you just kind of go at the end of the stalk, and then if it's too big, you just cut like across, so that you have some flowers and some of the stick. You can have any amount of vegetables you want, so if you like broccoli more, make more broccoli, or whatever you want. Turn your pan onto like medium low heat. So if your thing goes to nine like me, I have it on four. Add the milk. And then whisk in the green curry paste. Until you get it really good dissolved. Then add the coconut milk. And the chicken. And just let it simmer for about five minutes before adding the vegetables so the chicken can pre-cook a little. If you like it spicy, you want the cream to be kind of more greeny. So you can also, or taste it also, but you can do it by sight and taste. So you can always add a little more because personally I like it kind of spicy. And this looks better. Let me taste it. So I just add a little cream curry paste because before it didn't taste strong enough. That's better. Once the chicken's been cooking a few minutes, add in all the vegetables. Oops. Without making them drop, possibly. Stir them in, and then what you're going to do is you're going to cover the pan. And about the temperature, you want it to be hot, but not boiling, because it's not good for milk will curdle. So if you have, like me, like a thing that goes to nine, put it like on six or seven and just cover it. And just come back and stir every few minutes to check it. The amount you cook it, it depends on how you like the vegetables. So like if you like it and really crunchy, you don't want to cook it very long and vice versa. But it takes about 20 minutes. Um, don't forget to add some salt and pepper before the end. Just a little to give it some taste. This dinner tastes great accompanied by rice, preferably Thai rice. And that's how you make green curry Thai chicken in Morgan's Kitchen. Bon appétit!